If you were listening to today's political debate, you might wonder where this strain of anti-intellectualism came from. So, so, so class of 2016, let me be as clear as I can be. In politics and in life, ignorance is not a virtue. It's not cool to not know what you're talking about. That's not keeping it real or telling it like it is. That's not challenging political correctness. That's just not knowing what you're talking about. Qualities like kindness and compassion, honesty, hard work, they often matter more than technical skills or know-how. But when our leaders express a disdain for facts, when they're not held accountable for repeating falsehoods and just making stuff up, while actual experts are dismissed as elitists, then we've got a problem. You know, it, it's interesting that if we get sick, we actually want to make sure the doctors, like, go to medical school, they know what they're talking about. If we get on a plane, we say we really want a pilot to be able to pilot the plane. And yet, in our public lives, we, we suddenly think, well, I, I don't want somebody who's done it before. Look, the rejection of facts, the rejection of reason and science, that is the path to decline. It calls to mind the word of Carl Sagan, who graduated high school here in New Jersey. He said, we can judge our progress by the courage of our questions and the depths of our answers, our willingness to embrace what is true rather than what feels good. <laughs> 